Hello, welcome back. Here's how you can trim some parts of a stroke shape as part of a circular progress bar on Figma. A designing platform where you can design for websites just like these. These are website templates, but we're going to focus on, you know, creating that circular progress bar by trimming some parts of the circular sector. So uh, to do this, click on the plus symbol for pages, and then create a page. Hold on, uh, go under here and then go to rectangle, create a page, just like this. And then let's color it white, just like so. And then uh, let's make the circular progression bar. So uh, I'll be showing you how you can trim the parts of the circular sector so that, you know, there's this circular progress bar look. So uh, click on the down arrow for shape tools. Go to ellipse, hold the shift key, drag the cursor just like this. Let's color it gray. And then copy and paste this, control C, control V, and then decrease the size by holding the shift key. Centrize it. When it shows this, it's centerized. So uh, let's color this, for example, a darker shade of gray. Maybe, you know, decrease the size again. So that it looks like uh oh no no this it's still too large actually this is enough so uh, when you're done um simply just uh, select the model copy and paste this and then uh, bring it here delete this one and then um select these. And then there's a tool where we can trim the outer circle by using the inner circle. So I want to do this, click on the three dot icon for more actions, and then you head over to subtract. This will, you know, subtract it so that it looks like a donut, just like so. And then let's say if you want to make 25% of circle, circular progress bar, drag this, to create an arc, it's 25% now. So uh, select these, and then again, click on the three dot icon, click on subtract selection, and then drag it so that it, it's positioned here. And then let's color it, for example, green, a darker shade of green, just like this. And then for this, put it to the back, right click, send to back, all set now, right click, Bring to front, you're done. Creating this progress bar as a result of, you know, the trimming of the shape that we did. The trimming of the, you know, circular segment or the outlines of the progress bar. Just like so, you can even add some text. Click on the text tool and then let's say if we type in 25%, increase the size. To this, for example, and then click here. Use the eyedropper tool. Make it green. All done now. Really easy. And that is how you can trim shapes, stroke, or lines on Figma, a designing platform for websites, so that you can create this circular progress bar just like this one well thank you for watching guys give it a like give us a comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video from me it's good day ciao